Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is software development kit. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, software development and you want to learn about it. So let's just start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, Software Development Kit or SDK is a set of software tools and programs provided by hardware and software vendors that developers can use to build applications for specific platforms. These providers make their SDKs available to help developers easily integrate their applications with their services. In order to use a SDK, a developer needs an iOS SDK to build iOS application Android Toolkit for building Android applications, Nordic SDK to build Bluetooth or wireless applications and a VMware SDK to enable integrations with the VMware platform. Although SDKs are largely associated with native mobile applications, developers can use them in connection with websites, set, a, set to top boxes and other digital platforms. SDKs include uh, documentation, application programming interface, code samples, libraries and processes as well as guides that developers can use and integrate into their applications. Developers can use SDKs to build and maintain applications without having to write everything from scratch. More specifically, SDKs include libraries or APIs predefined pieces of code that let developers perform common programming tasks on the platform, integrated development environment, IDE, a visual editor that helps developers design and lay out graphical elements such as text boxes and buttons. These are common in mobile software development toolkits. For instance, Apple's IDE Xcode contains a suite of software development tools to help developers build software for Macintosh, iOS, iPads, watchOS and tvOS. There are a numerous IDE options for Android as well. Tools to help developers to do such tasks as debugging, building, running and testing their applications. SDKs enable developers to enhance applications with more functionality and let them include push notifications, ads and more. SDKs also help developers more efficiently create new tools and make to the process easier because everything is pre-built. For example, if a developer wanted to share images or text from his or her application directly into Facebook, he or she could look for Facebook's Android SDK to find the necessary code that would work for an Android device. This speeds the de deployment because the developer doesn't have to write the code from scratch. Now why use the SDKs? Software development toolkits allow developers to add functionality to their applications and enable them to build the standard components of their application easier and faster. SDKs are usually all in one products and don't need to be integrated with other components which can slow down the development process. Typically, developers are use SDKs for simple functions such logging in, location services and mobile payments. However, there are also SDKs that help developers build more complex app features such as augmented reality AR and virtual reality VR. SDKs reduce complex integrations by simplifying standard processes such as creating authorization signatures or interpreting SMS messages in native languages or platform. Now what is the difference between SDK and API? When API is code that enables two software programs to communicate with each other, an API defines the correct way for a developer to request services from an operating system or other application and expose data within different contexts and across multiple channels. When a developer uses an SDK to develop applications and create systems, those applications have to communicate with other applications. An SDK includes an API to enable that communication. Other differences include 
SDKs usually can contains APIs, but API don't contain SDK. Although an API can be used for the communication, it can't be used to create new applications. SDK let developers create applications and act as the building blocks for the software product. APIs allows the function of apps within the parameters of the SDK they are bundled with. APIs are the code that enable clearly defined communication between two separate apps. An SDK is the tool and component piece of code that has been created for a specific purpose while an API is just an, an interface for a service. A software development kit is a set of tools that allows developers to write or use an existing framework to develop applications for a given platform. SDKs are also the backbone of many popular applications, games and apps. So what's in your SDK toolbox uh, varies from platform to platform. So it makes sense for you to know what SDK tools are available on your chosen software development kit before starting any SDK related project actually. Uh, then friend other things are that the SDK tools are not only limited to the framework but also include everything else within it. This could be anything from testing and debugging all the way through to hardware access like controllers or sensors for your software development kit. Having SDK means you can go beyond just creating an app on a platform by giving developers SDK level access which is essential if they want their application to function optimally with that particular system. The benefits of SDKs are not without consequence however as some platforms choose not to offer SDK tools due to security concerns Apple's iOS being one example. SDKs can be extremely valuable for companies as they offer a way to access and understand how the platform works. Often SDKs include documentation that is far more extensive than what's available online which can be incredibly useful when it comes time to debug your application. Additionally, SDK gives you access to lower level APIs which might not be available through other means. This can allow developers who are working on porting an existing app or game over to your platforms to do so more easily. SDKs also come with testing tools which make it possible for developers to find and fix errors in their code before shipping their product out. The best part about SDK, they are all free. All of these benefits make SDK essential for anyone looking to get serious about SDK actually. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.